Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 26120.3653. This is the latest build for the beta channel for Windows 11 24H2. For those of you who don't know, the beta channel has been permanently moved to 24H2. Microsoft will test out new features that will also be released on 24H2 and maybe on 25H2 later this year. This build has pretty much all the other changes, features, and fixes from the dev build that I've showed you a few days ago but in this video I want to talk about the only thing that is different and the only new thing that Microsoft is adding in the beta channel I think that is a pretty nice feature that'll be pretty useful in the near future for Windows 11 users so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video as I've said you can find all the other features from the dev channel build for example the narrator changes which include the new speech recap the new AI features for Copilot plus PCs the new and improved BSOD, which now is basically only black and green, the new Copilot app in Windows 11, click to do, the Windows share improvements, and so on. The fixes are also the same, so I'm not gonna specify anything, I'm only gonna go and talk about the new feature, which is Quick Machine Recovery. And what is this? Basically, this feature, when enabled, will address boot issues on Windows 11 devices by automatically detecting and applying fixes directly from the Windows recovery environment, thereby reducing the system downtime and manual intervention. You're also gonna see some screenshots of how this new feature looks and for that shout out to Seno Panther on x.com for providing screenshots. So how this feature works, basically when a critical boot failure occurs, the device enters WinRE, connects to the network and sends diagnostic data to Microsoft which can then deploy targeted remediations via Windows Update. Also IT admins will be able to enable, customize or test this feature which is enabled by default for home users. So yeah, I think this feature is quite useful because Microsoft will just analyze the crash data from the affected device and it will identify patterns and also pinpoint the root cause. And what's interesting is that if a widespread outage is detected, an internal response team is activated to develop, validate and prepare a targeted remediation. So I think Windows 11 should be pretty well looked after by Microsoft whenever we have crash issues, boot problems. And what's nice is that everything will be rolled out via Windows update. So of course, you're gonna need to have your device connected to the internet and uh, just wait for Microsoft to fix the issues. Of course, if you want to learn more about Quick Machine Recovery, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or the official article from the techcommunity.microsoft.com. So as I've said, this is pretty much all there is to it in the beta channel build. There are all the other features that we've talked about in the dev channel, but this is the only feature that stands out. I think this is a really nice and useful feature that will help us in the coming years in Windows 11. So this was the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.